Hey everybody, it's me Nathaniel and my beautiful wife, Ashley. Hi. And in case you're new to the channel, I am a full-time reseller. My beautiful Ashley, my beautiful wife Ashley, da, 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 is a, <laughs> was a full-time pharmacy technician, now is part-time. And that's because we're having a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> little baby. So what are we doing today? We're going to a bargain outlet. Bargain outlet. <laughs> Which is a Ben's <laughs> store. But first, we're gonna get some food, and we're not gonna film it. We're just gonna send you some pictures of it or whatnot. Um, but hopefully, it'll be pretty good. We'll let you know after we do it. But well, we'll take you with you every step with us every step of the way. And that bargain place is called what is it? O B O B O B Y N. Hold on. O B G Y N Treasures. That is not what it's called. O B G Y N Treasures. <laughs> oh, Going to an O B G Y N is not a treasure. Okay. <laughs> It's called O T O B G Y N near you. <laughs> o T B B is in boy bargain outlet. Oh, here. There you go. There's the card, folks. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn it around to the other side because the other side has like their email and all that kind of stuff. And then you know, I don't, I don't yeah. love. We was, we was told they are online. You can look them up. The O T B, uh, which it should be bargain bins or something, so everybody but knows it's it's bargain the outlet. Itself, but it says bargain outlet. Uh, a wonderful lady at the auction, uh, Miss Julie, uh, gave you gave us those cards and told us about it. And we figured we'd go and carry, bring you along and check it out. So stay tuned, and I hope y'all enjoy. All right, so we are out of uh, the sub shop. That place was awesome. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. And it's called um, Just Julie's. Just Julie's. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry, folks. That's the place that Just I Julie's. thought was Pat's sub shop. In one of the prior videos, yep. we thought we were going to Pat's sub shop, and we passed uh, Julie's. Uh, so what's it called again? Uh, see, see? Just Julie's Sandwich Just shop. Julie's Sandwich Shop. All right. So we went there today, and it was absolutely delicious, too. Yes. We both got a number 19. I got mine all the way with mayonnaise and mustard. He got his all the way except with onions with mayonnaise and mustard, right? Yeah, I don't like raw onions. And, but, but I tell you what, you take a, one of them warm subs and, you know, put some warm onions on it. Oh, man, I've sauteed, sauteed onions. onions. Yeah, that's yeah, what but I meant, that's sauteed. They're cooked. Yeah, but I love sauteed um, onions. And of course, I lady, like mushrooms. And the lady, I know that she's probably not going to watch this, and I don't know her name. Oh, but yeah. I was, um, was talking about how I wanted a pickle on the side, and she heard that I was having a baby. And she gave me like eight pickles. You know the pickle spears? I did give two to Nathaniel because sharing is caring, but I ate the rest. <laughs> you know how many she gave me, folks? None. Well, I told her that I was going to share it with you, and I did. I did share. Man, I, those I like what she said, though. She said, but you don't have to. Yeah, she you did don't say I to. didn't have to. <laughs> and I thought that was really nice. And, you know, yeah, she was awesome. I wasn't feeling that good this morning. And you know what? The pickles made me feel better. <laughs> you know, just a little bit of kindness sometimes. It goes a long way. And right. I really thought when she said she was going to give me an extra pickle, I thought she was going to give me two pickles, which I would have been completely happy with, too. But she gave me a handful of pickles. I, I swear there was eight pickles in there. Yeah. I, I think they were, and then she wrapped them. Oh, they were Still so Oh, they were so Good. Comment they down below good. if you love pickles too. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I love pickles. Yeah, oh, okay. And the pickles had a crunch to it. They were oh, perfect. They were, oh, it they was, were delicious. Was, yeah. You know, you take a bite of the sub sandwich and then you take a bite of the pickle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the next place we're going to now is a bin store and that's it's that, not the bin store and that's that uh it's not a bin store it's the OBGYN treasures it's <laughs> oh oh lord otb otb bargain outlet bargain outlet because otb bargain outlet the bin store is a different store it's hard to remember that see i can remember pat's sub shop now i gotta remember just julian's what is it just Julie's. Just Julie's. all right and this is the bin store nope it's not a bin store see i, I forget that easy Oh my goodness. It's a bargain bin? No, it's, it's the a bargain, bargain outlet. Bargain outlet. Don't you got outlets, you got bargains, you got bins, you got I can't keep it all straight. I have a problem bending. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a case of the bins, folks. I got, I got, my hips are too bad. <laughs> yep. Y'all stay tuned.
it does it right. Well, we're back out. We didn't find anything. At least I didn't. Did you find anything? No. No. I don't know if we came too late in the day and there was a bunch of stuff earlier, but... I don't think so. There wasn't a lot of stuff in there, folks. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's very similar to a lot of the bins that you see here on YouTube. A lot of bins that you go to with Amazon returns. But there was used stuff intermixed. And it was $8 a day. And there was a lot of cell phone accessories and a lot of DVDs. A lot of cell phone accessories, a lot of DVDs. What you? What else you see? Junk. <laughs> Junk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So yeah, not really. Uh. I'm sorry. I just saw something I didn't need to see. I apologize. Uh oh. What you? What you see? I'm not putting that. No. <laughs> no. The lady that thought that you worked at the store. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm, something else so i go in there a lady comes up to me and they go uh do you work here do you work here no ma'am i think the the guy behind the counter ringing up everybody <laughs> there was everybody was one person um but, <laughs> we were going around circles <laughs> but now the lady that asked me she just got into her car beside us and mm -hmm. she was empty-handed so I'm, I don't want to be rude. No, and, but, I'm, not, I'm not trying but, to be rude. But you know, everybody's just trying to make it out there. But yeah, that's right. I'm not. I'm not going to pay eight dollars for something that um, I yeah. might can find at Goodwill or maybe for the Dollar Tree. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's right. Um, it, I will say one thing about the other Ben store that we um, go into uh, right down the road here. At least there, you uh, the, uh, most of the stuff's new. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of new stuff here, but you know when you see stuff where? in boxes and well <laughs> I mean there is new stuff, but it, it looks where? like so when you go to the bin stores You see these envelopes you see these boxes. It looks like literally they're taking them out of these envelopes and dumping it in the bin So it looks like trash. It's I, a dump I mean, store. yeah, it's a yeah like a dump store <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean there might be a diamond in the rut in there, but You mean a diamond in the rough? Not, yeah. not diamond in the rud. <laughs> and it's in an old bilo, and the overhead for that bilo has to be, for the old bilo, that, that store has to be crazy. I don't know what they're paying as far as their, their lease or rent or whatever they, they got, whatever the deal is, but I know that Nathan, I wouldn't make it. Yeah, Nathaniel was going to go in there and probably talk to someone about... Um, doing some auctions the the lady that told us about this said that uh they're interested in hiring an auctioneer to um maybe do one once a month or so and kind of a red flag because well can, uh, i hate to interject yeah go ahead but you've got to have quality merchandise yeah and <clears throat> this stuff right here i mean i, I didn't mean no disrespect but if you're gonna do it you got to do it by the bin with the way these were all right, on the bin right here. What are gonna go? What are gonna get? What are gonna be? What about twenty five dollars? Everything in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I, sad. Twenty five. What about twenty five? And I <laughs> think on some of them you're not gonna get that. And they want eight dollars today for one piece. For and one piece, and tomorrow seven dollars. When down the road here, the first the first two days is six dollars. Yep. You know, and I know. Do that, they even have a dollar day here? Or are they just open on the weekend? I think they're just open on the weekend. So, so it's, it's only or, it's, it's seven, seven or eight. Yeah. Seven dollars on Friday, seven, uh, eight dollars on Saturday, eight dollars on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Eight dollars Friday, eight dollars Saturday, seven dollars Sunday. Yep. And yeah. the other one, Friday, Saturday is six, Sunday's five, Monday's four, yeah. Tuesday's three, and I've been on uh, Tuesday one time, and you can find some stuff, you know, in there on three dollar day. Yeah. And then it's two dollars. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, they're only open for like four hours, but it's dollar day. No, I don't. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know if you saw it, but there's pallets in the floor, and I'm wondering if he's uh, about to start setting it up where he just sells it by the pallet, which might actually might not be a bad idea. Because, can I say one thing? Yeah. There was a little piece of furniture, like a a, a side table, as I would call it, right. in there, and it, it was fifty five dollars. Oh yeah. Um. So there was other stuff price more than eight dollars yes gotcha so it's like a store everything in the bins is going to be eight dollars but everything around 
the I, outskirts. I guess that's why they're gonna they be pre marked. They so they're not exactly a bin store. A bin store. Yeah, it's that's more why like they a, call it a bargain outlet. Yeah. But I think I would call it bargains and bins or something to that effect. Yeah. So they know that there's bins there included. And there's nothing wrong with them actually having, you know, the Sorry prices. Sorry if you can hear this, guys, but I've got to turn the air on. It's hot. I apologize for I have thing. I have nothing wrong with, you know, going into a store and they have in there, you know, you know, stuff around that's a little bit more, but everything in the bins is a set price. No, I don't have any problem with that. My either. issue lies within where you need to make it a little more structured to where your customer knows what's going on. Because I didn't see any rules. I kept asking Ashley how much of everything. We we're like, oh. Well, you have and to look up. I looked up. I did see a sign, and it was. I mean, it, everything's with marker. I mean, that, that's telling me how. I, I think the store literally is um, draining them to put any expense in, as far as signage and make it professional yeah, and because I, it costs so much for this uh, retail location. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to say the other Ben store, uh, which I like going to the other Ben store. Sometimes I come out empty handed. I do. Okay. But there it's clean. You know exactly how much everything's oh, yeah. priced. Um, the one thing that this place had that I would like the other place to get, which I didn't notice it until Nathaniel pointed out, is they have pool noodles around the bins yeah, itself I do like that. Yeah. to keep you from like getting splinters and stuff like that. From the actual bin itself. Yeah, for the, the actual wood. bin itself. And I actually think that is a great idea. And yeah. I could care less what color the, the things are or anything like that. But yeah. they're nice because you can like, kind of like lean on them. I will say that that... And, um, but yeah, that's that's, that's that's exact. I mean, in fact, you could use a pool pool noodle. But what they actually put on there is the coating for the your uh, CPVC PVC pipe. I thought it was keep a pool it cool. noodle. But the same thing, pool noodle works too. We Some people go to actually. The store. Yeah, I guess so. We'll Yay. go to the other bin store. Look at her, folks. She's excited. Yay. She's like, I we want... might actually find something this time. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I. I... At least the thought that I might find something is better than going in and as soon as you walk in, you're like, nope. <laughs> right. You know, now this store, even the things like that are surrounding the bins, they're $6 as well. Yeah. So you do know the price of everything. Yeah. And, and they that. also, I do know one thing, uh, they do have case goods around. Uh, I will go around the outskirts again and see if I see anything. Because every once in a while, we found every, some good deals, coffee and the... I, yeah exactly and I, I think what they do is they leave these cases there or um they put them out there you know kind of out of sight out of mind because everybody's going to the regular bins and what happens is as the days drop as far as you know probably maybe to five four three dollar day or whatnot they'll take these cases bust them open and dump the product in there your coffee your uh toys and stuff like that and what have you i think that's honestly what they do and they put a few of the case light things on the shelves on the higher dollar day just to hope they, you know, make a sale. If not, it's no biggie. They're going to dump it. It's going to sell anyway. So, yeah, and it's the one we actually filmed before. And they say that every week that uh, whatever's left over is donated. donated. I, and I don't... I don't believe that. Sorry. I don't necessarily believe entirely of that just because... <coughs> I see some of the same things about yeah. them. Two weeks in we a row. went back to back yeah back two weeks in a row and then we yeah. come back and there was stuff that we put back that was still in the bottom of the bin yeah that we dug out and we knew it was the exact same thing well, yeah, the way the package was ripped in the same place and yeah, all that and, and not to mention some of the things i had in my buggy and then what i normally do is anything that i see i want i put it in my buggy yeah and then before we leave i go yeah. through throw it, it and, and then if it's something i don't want i throw it back into a bin which is what you're supposed to do and nine times out, nine times out of ten everything she went through that she put back in one little area it's so, still so, clustered in that same group of stuff it, she wanted yeah sometimes it's <laughs> actually still in the same bin yeah. sometimes it's not but i'll find the same thing again yeah so and i can actually uh, maybe when we go in i can i can kind of prove that theory because i came on a tuesday without you yeah. um a couple weeks ago when i had a doctor's appointment I, I came because my doctor's in augusta georgia and literally it's a hop skip and a jump just to you know come yeah. here and um, I'm gonna see if just even if I can find one or two of the things that I bought here, then that'll prove the theory. Yeah. 
Now, I may not find anything, and then the theories, you know, it's still out there. Maybe they do donate everything, and they just get some of the same Well, I'm not back. saying they don't donate it. I believe they, they probably do, do donate, but... I don't think I don't they think it's like clean weekly it and clean, yeah. No, I think it's maybe every couple months maybe they do. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. You know, because I haven't been coming enough to, to know that. I mean, you would literally have to come every week on the same day yeah. to figure that out. And, and uh, no offense, I, I think they're probably the donating, but there's just not. I mean, they had a commercial out, and it said <laughs> at the end of the week, everything gets donated, and they start fresh. And we do know that to be entirely false, mm -hmm. just because of the stuff being left in the bins from the following week. So, But see, if you can see at the front of the store, he'll walk and show you. I mean, it tells you exactly what day and how oh, yeah. much everything is. And it's nice. And if you look at the other one, I'll try to put a put a comparison of the old of the other store and this store, the frontage, and you're, it's totally different. So, let's go check it out. So, oh, it's hot. It's hot out here, folks. But uh, this bin store, which is called the bin store, is a difference from night and day from the last one. Yes. Um, Excuse me while I drink. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, I still have ice. It's not melted. Very little, but a little bit's better than none. Oh, that's so good. It is. Oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Sweet tea, folks. <laughs> so, um, didn't really find a whole lot in here. And I actually did. Listen, I, I found. Could, I'm proud of myself. I weeded it down. I had a lot more in my buggy oh, than yeah. what I, I took out at least, I would say, seven things. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. I even but, put out, put back diamond paintings. Oh, boy. <laughs> it was, you know, how far <laughs> that is on my heart. Be be completely honest with y'all. You know we get stuff that we can use, nothing really yeah. to resell. There was one item that I bought that I'm gonna re. Uh, actually, he thinks he's gonna resell. Well, it. I'm not gonna resell it because I use them. It's uh the hundred page uh th it's like twenty nine ninety nine for a uh, hundred sleeves that you put like football, basketball, baseball cards, yeah, Pokemon, Pokechu, Pika Pop, whatever, all them things, and uh. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> and, uh, I put all that stuff in them in those uh, those folders. You know, I might put ten of them in a sleeve, put it in a three ring binder, take it to the uh, 
the auction and then sell it all for one money and sometimes it does really really well so you just and also you can use those fyi for couponing yeah well, i used, yeah, I I used think about to that. use those for couponing and i had different sections and i put the coupons in the little baseball slots this is when they were before they got really expensive you could get like a pack of 100 for like six dollars Hmm. And I would organize my coupons that way when I used to work at Walgreens because on top of my discount and then the Walgreens coupons plus the regular coupons. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but the, those were the good old days when thing, you could get things near nothing. I mean, I would get my laundry detergent for near nothing. That's right. So, uh, but yeah, sorry. I digress. Go ahead. No, you're good. I, I never would have thought about coupon and that, that's an awesome yep, idea really most is. people with coupons they put them in a like an accordion, like, a, accordion folder no nope, but if you put so them much easier, you, you can, can actually see, see it and you can put it by date you yep. can organize it by store by when they go out of date i, I can see it now i put that's it in neat. sections like household cleaners frozen foods Whatever but do you like. separate it by stores or no because i usually only you stop I, at one store I, I, walgreens was the store or cvs to really coupon yeah. at so what i would do is then when we got the sales paper on sunday i would go through and pick out the coupons that gotcha. i was good yeah i used to be a big couponer because if i wouldn't have I wouldn't have had hardly anything that's a long <laughs> story <laughs> well we hope you enjoyed the video um we yeah, thank I'm, you for coming along. I'm hurting now, so I'm I'm ready uh -oh. to go lay down for a little bit. So we're going home, and well, she's gonna get her a nappy nap. And I don't think I don't really. I'm not really sleepy. It's my hips are killing me. She she's gonna well she's gonna. Rest. I'll lay down, and I'll probably fall. Asleep. She's gonna rest, and, and I'm gonna, gonna nest. Yep. That. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, it's it's opposite because most of the time the woman's nesting. And it's not that I don't want to nest, it's that by the time I get to it, I'm tired. Yeah. But we do have some stuff that we have to nest and we got to do together because he don't like to throw stuff away thinking I'm going to get mad. As yeah. long as he don't throw away my Pyrex. And I don't want to wait till the last minute and then yeah, all of a sudden, you know, oh, there's a baby here. <laughs> like, oh boy, yep. I should have did this. I don't know why I waited. No, never put off tomorrow what, what you, you can, can do, do today. today. Oh yeah. my goodness! The, and and I am I am a bad procrastinator of that, so but I've gotten better. So I've gotten a little bit better. I don't think I've I'm been that I've been great. listing back on my eBay. I got a yeah, good bit of listing. sales going. Um, yeah, and it's it's slowly building up. I think everybody's having a little bit of a dry spell, you know, well, uh, with the, everything this going first up. quarter. And but I, we we are having sales we have sales every day the only day we didn't have any sales whatsoever was uh february 2nd uh, uh, of this year and soon as i didn't get a sale that day i started listing right away and while listing guess what i got a sale so that key the big key to reselling is listing i mean it, you got to yes. keep listing uh, i don't know how, how it works with the algorithm of ebay algorithm but i'm going to tell you right now i'm a firm believer in it if you want your stuff to get out there and you want to keep it fresh and you want to keep it appealing to everybody Excuse you me. need to keep listing the more you list the more you'll sell the less you list the less you'll sell and if you list every day for a solid month watch your sales and then stop guess what happens your sales starts depleting going down so keep listing keep on it and you'll get there and I'm bad about it too. I don't like to list every day, but I try. I try to lose it, list at least five items. Sometimes I like to knock it out in a day, do like 50, 60. I'm like, well, I don't have the list for a week. But it don't work like that, folks. Not, well, at least for, you know, my uh, our eBay store. Um, I can list 60 items and be like, all right, I'm scot free for the rest of the week. No, I still got a list every day for it to, to go up. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But yeah, even That's if what you list like two or three things a day, I think it, it just fresh refreshes it that there's another store, your items will come up. And also, I don't promote anything. A lot of people say that they they promote everything. A lot of people say they'll do one percent promotions. Nope, wait, I don't I, think you've ever done that. I'm I, I'm not. No, I, last year I did with a couple of things I wasn't oh. selling, Never and mind. they they still didn't sell. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but. I don't promote. 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 I don't you don't promote. Promote. <laughs> promote. So I don't do any promotions. And I, I consider 
ourselves pretty substantial as far as you know our we are truly our blessed. Fit. Yeah. Yes. I, so, I, so I, if anybody, I mean, the more you promote, the more that's more money coming out of your bottom line. It's coming out of your your pocket. So the less that is going to come out of your pocket, the better, folks. So I, I don't promote. I honestly think. I mean, it's a way. I, do I think it works? Absolutely, it probably does. It probably pushes you on up to the top. But I don't need a hundred orders a day. I don't need you know fifty orders a day. If if I do you know ten, twenty orders a day, you know I'm I'm happy, and that, that keeps everything flowing pretty good. So that's just how I am. And plus, I got so much other stuff going on on the side with everything excuse me it's just it's <laughs> hard to i mean take for instance if i list something on ebay and other people selling it for 9.95 okay i'm putting mine on there for 12.95 why well i really don't care if i sell it or not i do want to sell it but mm -hmm. i don't want a hundred items that i be beat somebody's prices out to sell in one day because guess what i gotta take all that time away from my normal everyday routine and focus it on selling or uh, packaging a hundred packages every day and that's it just does not fit in my my aspect of it but i put it a little bit more and it does sell and another thing if it don't sell i can always do a promotion and do a markdown and then it will sell so uh, that's yeah. how that's that's how it always worked and uh, that's how we always and it's always worked out so i hope that explains a little bit about it it that's not for everybody i mean if you do i mean if you have a regular job you'll you'll completely understand but if you're a full-time reseller but if you're a full-time reseller different. and working it's a lot different because you don't want to come home from your 12-hour job and then ship 100 orders and then get back up in the morning at five six seven o'clock and then you don't have no family time folks so I always keep that in can mind. You stop right there for me. I'm gonna use the restroom. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and you could say a new purse for my sister Terry. See, she calls her lunch box. I call her lunch box a purse. And it gets her really mad. New purse. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. And comment down below some of your thoughts on eBay and reselling and stuff. And until next time. Take care, folks. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to watch some more videos. And hit that notification bell if you want to know when we upload new videos. Have a great day, guys. 35, I'm going to be able to be 35, now 40. 40, I'm going to be able to be 40, now 40, 40, 40, 40, I'm going to be able to be 40, now 5. 45, I'm going to be able to be 40.